3rd of July, I'm wearing a fleece. Windy, cold, typical British summer. Not spoiling this though. In January, at the front of the garden, uh, we have a, a fence hiding the caravan and I decided to plant a number of clematis um, to try and get as much flower throughout the year using clematis that flowered at different periods. Um, and I shot a video of this at the beginning of April. Um, and I went and shot another one this morning to show you the progress that the plants have made. Um, something you might like to consider for your garden. Hope you like it. We have a caravan. Um, and I erected this fence for the caravan to stay behind so that we can't see it. And I've built a window box that's a bottomless one at the front. And I'm growing 12 months worth of clematis. Down the far end there are some verticellas, late large flowering, early large flowering uh, clematis. And at this end we've got early ones. I'm not sure I've planted this the right way round really, um, but we'll see what it's like in a year's time. It's only been here for a few months. And here we have Pink Flamingo, which is just coming out next to Frankie. Brunette, Broughton Bride. Ruby Celebration and Diamond Anniversary and then we go down to the the other ones which I'll show you later in the year when they've put on more growth and some flower. And it's now early July and here is that same caravan fence much fuller as you can see and we'll take a walk down. We still have some of the early flowering clematis coming out. It's not unusual for atrogenes to have a second flush. Um, not a big one, but the flowers are, are welcome nonetheless. Broughton Bride is still beautiful with her white flowers. And this is Blue Eclipse. I'm moving about a lot today because it's, it's very windy. And hiding in here is a Brunette. And now for the later flowering ones. This is Little Nell. A lovely bicolour Viticella. And next to her, we've got White Prince Charles. That's a late large flowered hybrid. It's been out for a long time. And above it, Ville de Lyon. Fabulous depth of colour in the sepal. And the darker one is Star of India. The flowers are small for Star of India, but this is its first year. So next year they're going to be quite a bit bigger. And there's an Armandi eye, which is just some evergreen um, cover that I've, I've put in so that it doesn't look too bare in the winter. Chatsworth. Now this one is new to me this year. Although I've had it uh, from a very young plant that Richard Hodson gave me probably three years ago. This is its first full year of flowering and it's beautiful. And at the end here we have the ever faithful minuet. 
I like the small flowered viticellas, particularly when they plant in the position where you can get close to them so that you can see the detail of the flower. So I'm very happy about that for the first year. That really has provided a lot of colour and variety of colour as well. Um, and here another evergreen. This is a, um, a honeysuckle which will stay green throughout the year. While I'm in the front I'll show you another stunning clematis. Try to ignore the weeds and how poor the lawn looks at the moment as we walk across to the other border which is a, a project for the autumn it needs a good sort out I oh, must stop there's LD Braithwaite fabulous rose so this is what I wanted to show you Clematis rubra another viticella it has dozens and dozens of buds yet to come out all over this rose I mean in terms of color contrast it's not the best choice because this rose is uh, sort of orange but who's counting no I think that's fabulous very much the showstopper on this side of the garden at the moment I'll take another video uh, probably in the spring and maybe in the summer next year um, so I have a record of how the plants are growing but I think that clematis wall works quite well even though it is a clematis fence really wall sounds better this is odoriba it's got huge amounts of flower all the way around um, I thought I would just deadhead it see if that encourages it to produce more flower and oh by the way two weeks time haircut booked can't wait and if you want something exciting in your life this is the annual journal of the British Clematis Society of which I'm the membership secretary 180 pages of fabulous information articles written by people that know what they're talking about members writing in telling us about their their gardens and their uh, projects uh, it's really good read um, if you want to consider joining the society there's an offer on at the moment um, if you go to the website you can join there uh, but I will offer you 18 months membership for the price of 12 renewal is on the 1st of January each year but given that we're part way through 2020 rather than you have to rejoin at the beginning of 2021 I'll give you till the beginning of 2022 uh, all for the price of a UK single membership of £25 or 30 if you join as a couple and there are rates at the front of here for international members as, as well um, it's well worth it um, you get advice uh, we come and give talks to your gardening clubs um, if you have any problems you give me a ring um, and we try to support members as best we can anyway something to think about but my excitement is definitely the um, the haircut see you soon